Hey guys, welcome back! In the early 90s the world of computing was at its zenith and Commodore was ruling the game with the legendary Amiga 500. But then in 1992 they dropped a bombshell, the Amiga 1200. This, my friends, is the story of the computer that refused to die. Commodore was unstoppable, with their C64 selling like hotcakes and the Amiga 500 reigning as the 16-bit champion. But technology was evolving rapidly and they knew they had to level up. So they dropped not one, but two new Amigas, the Amiga 4000 for the high-end users and the Amiga 1200 for us gamers. The A1200 may have seemed underwhelming at first, but it had something unique up its sleeve. The AGA chipset allowing 256 colors on screen at once and backwards compatibility with Amiga 500 games. But here's the twist. The A1200 didn't exactly have a smooth start. Its initial launch bundle was, well, less than impressive. Oscar and Dennis. Not exactly blockbuster games. Most publishers hesitated to develop exclusive AGA titles, fearing limited sales. So for a while the A1200 just looked slightly better, not groundbreaking. But then a game changer arrived in November 1993. Overkill. It was a Defender clone, but with smooth parallax scrolling and mind-bending effects, it showed the A1200's potential. Alien Breed 2 by Team 17 took the A1200 to the next level. It was the first AGA killer app, boasting more aliens on screen and stunning scenery using a wide range of colors. Exclusive A1200 titles started emerging, but the system still struggled to dominate the gaming market. Commodore's financial woes hit hard, and in 1994 they filed for liquidation. Escom, a German PC manufacturer, tried to revive the A1200, but it was too late. The PC, the PlayStation and even the Saturn had taken over. Yet, remarkably, the Amiga's legacy lived on. Third-party upgrades pushed the A1200's power to new heights and the Amiga's game library expanded even after Commodore's death. The Amiga community remained strong and the platform continued to receive new games long after production had ceased. In fact, and as told in so many other Amiga-related videos here on the channel, some of the best titles came after Commodore's demise. The A1200 may have faded into obscurity, but it's a treasure trove of hidden gems for retro gamers, a testament to the undying love for a machine that refused to die. If you're willing to give it a go and discover those hidden treasures, the most straightforward way of doing it is with the amazing A500 Mini. Obviously that there are other cheaper alternatives, but more painful to configure for newbies in the scene. Despite a somewhat ropey start, the Amiga 1200 soon started delivering a string of quality titles that simply weren't possible on inferior machines, so and with that in mind, let me point out 26 of the most popular Amiga games that indeed used, to good effect, the advanced graphics architecture that owners of A1200s and even A4000s would proudly display and showcase to their friends. Overkill. Get ready for a turbocharged blast from the past with an AGA exclusive game for the A1200 and CD32. Overkill, a 2D side-scrolling shooter reminiscent of the arcade classic Defender. Crafted by the skilled team at Vision Software, this retro jam was a nod to the golden age of gaming and a love letter to fans of high-octane action. So, how did Overkill came to be? Vision Software, known for their passion for preserving the magic of vintage gaming, set out to capture the essence of arcade shooters from yesterday's. Leveraging the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture, they dialed up the excitement, delivering vivid graphics and fluid gameplay that'll make your heart race. Now you can pilot your spacecraft through wave after wave of enemy forces defending your territory in a relentless battle for supremacy. 
with enhanced graphics and a nostalgic vibe. Overkill promises a retro gaming experience that will whisk you back to the glory days of the arcade. So grab that joystick and get ready to relive the excitement. Can you conquer the digital skies and prove your courage in this pixelated adventure? Simon, Simon the, the Sorcerer. Sorcerer Whilst many excellent point-and-click adventures are available on the Amiga, few were actually converted to AGAs. Luckily, AdventureSoft's Simon the Sorcerer did receive a graphical overall and the end result is a glorious looking title with gorgeous visuals, fantastic and memorable voice acting and some wonderfully designed puzzles that will have you scratching a trench into your head. Don't be fooled by its humble roots and the lack of a LucasArts logo. <laughs> Simon the Sorcerer is point-and-click adventuring at its very best. Super, Super Stardust. Stardust Prepare for a cosmic clash like no other with Super Stardust, yet another AGA exclusive title both for the Amiga 1200 and the CD32. This electrifying arcade shooter was born from the creative minds at Bloodhouse, who aimed to redefine interstellar gaming on the Amiga platform. But how did Super Stardust make its way to your screen? Bloodhouse, known for their visually stunning and action-packed Stardust game released a year prior, set their sights on the stars once again. Leveraging the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture, they brought the space-dusting experience to life with breathtaking visuals, intense gameplay and a soundtrack that's truly out of this world. Now you can pilot your starship through an asteroid storm, battling hordes of celestial enemies in a relentless quest for victory. With enhanced graphics and the thrill of intergalactic combat, Super Stardust promises a gaming experience that will transport you to the far reaches of the universe. Are you ready to embark on this cosmic adventure and become the ultimate Stardust savior? Lords, Lords of the, of the Realm. Realm Suit up to wage medieval warfare and conquer kingdoms with Lords of the Realm on the Amiga 1200. This strategic masterpiece is the brainchild of Impressions Games, a developer renowned for their commitment to crafting historical and strategic experiences on the Amiga platform. But how did Lords of the Realm came to rule the realm of strategy games? Impressions Games, known for their passion for history and warfare, embarked on a quest to create an epic experience in the medieval world. Leveraging the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture, they brought to life an age of castles, knights and tactical brilliance with captivating visuals and intricate gameplay. Now you can become the lord of your own realm, building castles, leading armies and vying for dominion. With enhanced graphics and a strategic depth, Lords of the Realm promises a gaming experience on the A1200 that will change your wits and test your leadership. Are you ready to stake your claim as a noble lord in this medieval saga? Brian, Brian the Lion Get ready to embark on a wild and original adventure with Brian the Lion. Crafted by the imaginative minds at Reflections Interactive, this classic platformer is the result of their dedication to creating a magical gaming experience on the Amiga. So how did Brian the Lion came to life? Reflections Interactive, known for their passion for storytelling through games, set out to create a world filled with charm and challenges. They harnessed the power of the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture to breathe life into Brian's colorful world, complete with delightful characters and captivating gameplay. Now you can join Brian on his quest to rescue his kidnapped friends and restore harmony. With enhanced graphics and enchanting sound, the AGA version of the game takes this beloved classic to new heights. If you're a fan of platforming adventures that ooze charm, Brian the Lion is your ticket to a heartwarming journey that will make you smile from ear to ear. Simon, 
Civilization. Unleash your inner conqueror and rewrite history with the AGA version of Civilization on the Amiga 1200. This strategy masterpiece was meticulously crafted by the brilliant minds at Microprose Design Group, who sought to redefine the art of empire building on the Amiga platform. So how did Civilization find its way to the Amiga 1200? Microprose, renowned for their commitment to immersive strategy gaming, embarked on a quest to adapt the epic game for the platform. Harnessing the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture power, they brought the world's greatest civilizations to life, with vivid graphics and a rich strategic experience. Now you have the chance to lead your people to greatness, shape the course of history and dominate the world. With enhanced graphics and intricate gameplay, Civilization promises a gaming journey on the A1200 that will challenge your wits and captivate your imagination. Are you ready to become a legendary ruler in the annals of history? Dreamweb. Prepare to journey into the darkest corners of the minds with Dreamweb on the Amiga 1200. This immersive cyber noir adventure is a creation of creative reality, a developer committed to pushing the boundaries of storytelling on the Amiga. But how did Dreamweb came into being? Creative reality, known for their passion for narrative-driven games, embarked on a quest to craft a unique and atmospheric experience. Leveraging the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture, they breathed life into a world where reality and dreams intertwine, complete with moody visuals and a hauntingly suspenseful plot. Now you can step into the shoes of Ryan, a man haunted by a series of dreams, and embark on a chilling quest to unravel a conspiracy. With enhanced graphics and a gripping narrative, Dreamweb promises an unforgettable journey into the surreal and the sinister. Are you ready to confront your nightmares? Star Trek 25th Anniversary Whether you love or hate Star Trek, there's no denying that this excellent icon-driven graphic adventure is a fantastic use of the license. The seven available missions are structured like a typical episode from the original series and are frightfully authentic. The theme tune and credits are there. Captain Kirk dictates his captain's log and each character behaves perfectly. While the puzzles aren't quite as complex as some of LucasArts games, it still takes a fair amount of time to complete and will certainly tax those gamers not familiar with the genre. Don't be put off by the attached license, as this is a wonderful title, exclusive to AGA Amigas, and an essential addition to your collection, even if you're not a fan of Captain James Tiberius Kirk, like me. Damn, I even consider it as one of my favorite point-and-click adventure games of all time. Check my top 10. Aladdin. Unleash the magic on your Amiga 1200 with the AGA version of Aladdin, exclusively crafted to the more powerful line of 32-bit Amigas. This timeless classic takes you on a dazzling adventure through Agrabah, now with enhanced graphics and vibrant colors thanks to the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture. Experience the magic carpet rides, thrilling escapes and epic battles like never before. With smoother animations, intricate details and an upgraded performance, Aladdin on the Amiga 1200 will make you feel like a true diamond in the rough. Are you ready to rub the lamp and make your wishes come true? Sadly, sound effects and music can't incomprehensibly be heard simultaneously. Yeah. Benji. Prepare for an adrenaline-fueled journey through the skies with Banshee, another incredible Amiga exclusive game that can only be enjoyed taking advantage of the AGA chipset present on those more beefed-up machines from Commodore. This retro gaming marvel was brought to life by the talented developers at Core Design and was born out of passion for pushing the limits of gaming on the Amiga platform. 
Core Design, known for their innovative approach, set out to create a vertical scrolling shooter that would redefine the genre. The result? Banshee, a high-octane arcade experience with breathtaking graphics and intense gameplay. So, how did this masterpiece came to be? The wizards at Core Design harnessed the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture to deliver smooth scrolling and stunning visuals. It's a true testament to the golden age of gaming. Whether you're a retro enthusiast or a newcomer to the classics, Banshee on the Amiga 1200 promises an exciting adventure that will keep you glued to your screen. Take control of your fighter jet and soar through the pixelated heavens. It's time to unleash the power of Banshee. Arcade Pool. Step into the neon-lit world of billiards with the electrifying AGA version of Arcade Pool on the Amiga 1200. Crafted by the skilled developers at Team 17, this pool masterpiece shines brighter than ever, all thanks to the magic of the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture. But what's the story behind this pixel-perfect gem? Team 17, renowned for their passion for gaming innovation, took the beloved game of pool and transformed it into a digital thrill ride. With stunning graphics and lifelike physics, they brought the billiards hall straight to your home. Whether you're a seasoned Q slinger or just looking for a fun challenge, Arcade Pool on the Amiga 1200 promises an immersive pool experience that's bound to keep you hooked. So check up your Q, line up your shot and sink those balls in style. It's time to conquer the virtual felt. The Chaos, Chaos Engine, Engine. Prepare to step once again into the steampunk world of Chaos with the AGA version of the Chaos Engine. This action-packed adventure was brought to life by the creative minds that the Bitmap Brothers who were inspired to create a game that would meld Victorian science fiction with explosive gameplay. But what's the true inspiration behind the Chaos Engine's thrilling action? The Bitmap Brothers, captivated by the rich and imaginative world of steampunk, embarked on a mission to bring this unique genre to gaming. After the huge success of the original OCS release, they got back to it and harnessed all the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture power to deliver even more stunning visuals, enhance the already frenetic gameplay and bring back that amazing soundtrack that'll always get your heart racing. Once again, you take control of a cast of peculiar characters, each with their own abilities and quirks, in a bid to navigate a world of mechanical monstrosities and chaotic contraptions. With enhanced graphics and a dedication to capturing the essence of steampunk adventure, the AGA version of the Chaos Engine promises an even better gaming experience that will immerse you in a world of retro-futuristic mayhem. Are you ready to embrace the chaos once again and become the master of this mechanical realm? Don't forget to check my history video on the bitmaps. Zulu. Prepare for a whirlwind of colorful adventure with the enhanced AGA version of Zul 2 for the Amiga 1200. This zany platformer was brought to life by the creative team at Gremlin Graphics, who pushed boundaries and built upon its predecessor, inspiring themselves even more to craft a sequel that would redefine the world of platforming. But what's the secret behind Zul 2's whimsical gameplay? Gremlin graphics driven by the ever-grown desire to create a platformer that would capture players' hearts, embarked on a quest to design a quirky, colorful and fast-paced world. Leveraging the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture, they filled the game with vibrant visuals, clever level design and a soundtrack that'll make you tap your feet. Now you can step into Zul's shoes, the interdimensional ninja, and dive into a realm of wacky challenges and charming enemies. With enhanced graphics and a hefty dose of imagination, Zul 2 promises a gaming experience that will leave you grinning from ear to ear. Are you ready to take on the world of whimsy and join Zul on his exhilarating escapade? D 
Deluxe Galaga. Bedroom coder Edgar Vidgo had a reputation for porting popular arcade games to the Amiga, then adding loads of great extra features without removing any of the original charm. The most fondly remembered of his games is Deluxe Galaga, a remake of Namco's classic 1981 coin-op hit and an AGA exclusive title for the 8200. As well as remaining faithful to the Galaga gameplay, Vigdal's version added collectible money that could be used to buy unique weapons between rounds and bonus levels that took the form of minigames within the confines of Galaga's basic structure. Deluxe Galaga was an Amiga phenomenon back in 95 and is still an essential shooter today. Bloodfest. Get ready for blood pumping monster slaying rampage with the AGA version of Bloodfest on the Amiga 1200. This spine tingling gaming jam was conjured by the dark wizards at Mellow Chips, who set out to create an unforgettable horror gaming experience on the Amiga. But what's the chilling backstory? Known for their passion for crafting immersive worlds, the developer delved into the realm of horror gaming, and with the Amiga's AGA chipset at their fingertips, they brought Bloodfest to life, complete with terrifying creatures, dark atmosphere, and suspenseful gameplay. So brace yourself for an epic battle against the forces of evil! If you're a fan of intense adrenaline pumping gameplay, Bloodfest is your gateway to a horror-filled adventure that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Can you survive the night and conquer the terror? Alien Breed 3D No doubt wanting to cash in on the popularity of Doom on the PC, Team 17 decided to create its own first-person shooter exclusively for the Amiga 1200. The result, Alien Breed 3D may not have been without its problems, but it remains arguably the greatest first-person shooter available on the machine. While the small playing window was dreadfully annoying, although many argued that it added atmosphere to the game, the finely structured level design, stunning visuals and gruesome deaths delivered a Doom-like experience that many felt the Amiga could never achieve. You needed an Amiga with a fair amount of grunt to get the game working, but on a decent system, Alien Breed 3D was a virtually untouchable game. Extreme Racing Rev up your engine and get ready to experience the thrill of high-speed racing with Extreme Racing, another exclusive AGA title for the Amiga 1200. This heart-pounding racing experience was born from the passion and love for motorsports and Mario Kart <laughs> by the creative team at Siltuna Software, who set out to capture the essence of the racetrack right on your screen. But what's the driving force behind Extreme Racing's exhilarating gameplay? Siltuna Software, inspired by the hard racing action of the real deal, embarked on a journey to bring the same excitement to gamers. Leveraging the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture, they fueled their game with stunning visuals and responsive controls, ensuring you'll feel the rush of a true racing championship. Now you can take the wheel and compete in high-speed races across various tracks. With enhanced graphics and a true racing spirit, Extreme Racing promises an experience that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Get ready to burn rubber and prove your bravery as a true racing champion. Five years later, by 2000, was re-released on CD with no noticeable improvements. All New World of Lemmings Prepare to guide the lovable Lemmings on a brand new adventure with this AGA exclusive version of All New World of Lemmings for the A1200. This delightful puzzle platformer was crafted by DMA Design, a team inspired to bring fresh challenges and quirkiness to Lemmings fans. But what's the story behind yet another Lemmings sequel? DMA Design, known for their creative approach to gaming, embarked on a quest to evolve the classic Lemmings gameplay. 
They harness the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture to breathe new life into the world of Lemmings, offering intricate levels, quirky puzzles and an intemporal soundtrack that will always make you smile. Now you can lead your Lemmings through a world of mind-bending puzzles, clever contraptions and adorable antics. With enhanced graphics and a commitment to the charm of the Lemmings franchise, this new entry in the series promises a gaming experience that will challenge your wits and warm your heart. Are you ready to lead your lemmings to safety and embark on this quirky journey? Slam Tilt Get ready to unleash the excitement of pinball with the Amiga version of Slam Tilt, another AGA exclusive for the A1200. Sure that the AGA versions of pinball fantasies and pinball illusions are also short of amazing. But for this list, I opted for Slam Tilt, simply because it isn't mentioned and featured enough throughout the interweb. So, this electrifying pinball simulation was brought to life by Liquid Design, a developer inspired to capture the exhilarating of arcade on your Amiga. So, what's the inspiration behind Slam Tilt's high-flying gameplay? Liquid Design, driven by their love for pinball and a quest for arcade-like fun, embarked on a mission to create a pinball game that would put the thrill of the arcade right at your fingertips. They leveraged the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture to deliver stunning table designs, realistic ball physics and a soundtrack that sets the stage for an epic pinball adventure. Now you can step up to the virtual pinball machine, experiencing the flashing lights, bumpers and flippers all in the comfort of your home. With enhanced graphics and a dedication to capturing the essence of real pinball, Slam Tilt on the A1200 promises a gaming experience that will have you flipping for joy. Are you ready to tilt, nudge and rack up those high scores? Fighting Spirit Although several versions of Street Fighter 2 appeared on Commodore's machine, the Commodore's inability to perfectly emulate the arcade's control system meant that plenty of other brawlers received greater recognition. One such fighter is Lightshock Software's Fighting Spirit, a nifty little scrapper that has a decent range of opponents, a laughably cheesy plot and some solid special moves. Many of the characters are able to morph into vicious animals, which adds greatly to the comedic elements that run throughout the game. While Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo looked a lot nicer, simpler controls made Fighting Spirit the better game, at least on the Amiga 1200. XP8. During the A1200's twilight years, most of the big-name developers had moved on to new prairies and it was left to the smaller software houses to keep the games coming. Due to their limited budget, most opted to produce simple yet highly playable arcade games like Weathermin Software's XP8. This vertical scrolling shooter seems quite underwhelming at first, but once you get past the lackluster opening level of the game, reveals itself to be pretty good fun and it's best played with a joypad or joystick. The formula of the game was hardly revolutionary, but XP8 delivered solid blasting action that looked superb thanks to the rendered graphics and silky smooth animation. Team Toy, Team Toy Adventure. Adventure Embark on an imaginative journey into a world of toys with Team Toy Adventure, an exclusive AGA title for the Amiga 1200. Crafted by the creative minds at Mutation Software, this enchanting platformer invites you to explore the magic of childhood playtime. But what's the inspiration behind Team Toy Adventure's delightful escapade? Mutation software fueled by a passion for sparking imagination and capturing the essence of childhood, set out to create a game that would transport players back to a time when toys came to life. They harnessed the Amiga's advanced graphics architecture to bring this imaginative world to reality, 
with charming graphics, engaging gameplay and a whimsical soundtrack. Now you can shrink down to toy size and traverse a land where fun knows no limits. With enhanced graphics and a sprinkle of nostalgia, Teen Toy Adventure promises a gaming experience that will make you feel like a kid again and remind you that the world of toys is a world of endless wonder. Are you ready to embark on this playtime adventure and rediscover the magic of your own toy chest? Honestly, P. Fans of Flashback would be well advised to check out Invictus Superb One Escape, as it shares many elements with Delphine's classic. From its atmospheric opening sequence to its stunningly drawn locations, On Escape manages to impress on practically every level. If there's one complaint I'd make, it's that the game's difficulty spikes rather abruptly upon reaching the third stage. Puzzles are a lot trickier to work out, and death can often come quickly and without warning. Still, the attention to detail, outstanding looking visuals and masterful use of sound instantly draws you in and soon makes you forget one escapee's minor niggles. Invictus re-released the game back in 2004 as freeware for PC to coincide with the 10th anniversary of the company's founding, and if you recall, Invictus were the guys behind the amazing insane that I love so much and already brought a complete review to the channel. Check it out! Worms, Worms the director's the cut. cut. It would be criminal not to mention at least one game from the hugely successful Worms series. This exclusive and AGA-only Amiga title was the perfect farewell from Team 17 for the machine that had served it so well over the years, so it's unsurprising that many Amiga and Worms fans consider it to be the best game from the entire franchise. Glorious 2D visuals, well-designed maps and some truly outrageous weapons all combined to create what was easily the pinnacle of the series. T0 T-Zero is generally regarded as the reason to upgrade the Amiga 1200. By adding a CD-ROM drive and extra RAM, the humble A1200 was able to run the most beautiful horizontal shooter that has ever been on a Commodore computer. Put simply, T-Zero looked stunning, with its biomechanical levels, screens packed with bullets and animated backgrounds, it was technically and artistically brilliant. Unusually for a late Amiga game, the excellent graphics were matched by the great gameplay. Essentially an R-Type clone, T-Zero stood out because of the power downs, items that were the opposite of power-ups and best avoided if you wanted to do well. Front plasma. Payback. For those who have played it, Apex Design's Payback is much more than just a simple clone of Grand Theft Auto. Hell, many of them swear that it's actually miles better. Obviously, taking advantage of the AGA chipset, it's certainly an impressive achievement on the Amiga 1200, thanks to it having a proper 3D perspective, superb attention to detail and extremely satisfying gameplay. Speaking of gameplay, it's near identical to that of GTA's and sees the player activating missions by accessing an available telephone kiosk. Said missions can involve anything from stealing a few cars to simply killing someone, yet there's enough variety in them to ensure that objectives don't become too repetitive with heavy play. So here you have it, the story and games of the Amiga 1200, a computer that faced adversity but left an indelible mark on the gaming world. Do you have any fond memories of the A1200? Share them with all of us in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell for more fascinating stories from the world of gaming. Until next time, keep on gaming and remember, some legends never truly fade away. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in my next video.
Cheers. Cheers.